Before we leave bubble sort, I want to ask an important question. If we had an array instead of on this table, if we had an array inside code, what would the code look like for a bubble sort? I'd like you to discuss that with your partner. What would the construction of the algorithm look like? Okay, so you're going to need a temp variable because you're going to need to swap elements, right? The swapping is an important integral ingredient to a bubble sort. So sometimes when you look at two elements, you want to swap them. And whenever we swap two elements, we introduce a temporary holder variable to help us. So I agree with that. And you mentioned that we're going to need a loop. How many? What do you think, sir? I think two. We're going to need two. Do you think there'll be one after the other, or do you think there'll be one inside the other? Please discuss. Yes, sir. Inside Nested is correct. So we were going to need a structure like this. We're going to need a for loop here. And then we're going to need another for loop inside it like that. And then we're going to need an if statement here. And then, then we're going to need a swap method over here like that. And so this is the general structure for a bubble sort. Um, the next time, yes, sir. I'll give you a hint, sir. As I went through the process, do you remember me describing a pass? So this controls an internal pass and this controls how many passes we do. That's why we need the two loops. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay.